Hey everybody, Martin here, your favorite Jenna Realtor. And today I'm bringing you another episode of my uh, Frequently Asked Questions series. Uh, now, one of the big uh, questions right now in this crazy hot market is um, how much money should I offer uh, in order to get the property? Because uh, as you know, there's a lot of multiple offers going on and uh, buyers are bidding up the uh, price of the house and houses are selling very quickly. So whenever I sit down with a buyer, the first thing they ask is say, we really want this house. Uh, Marty, what do you think we should offer? Um, so a little bit of background, when I started um, in this business about 16 years ago, we went um, into a hot market and actually prices in Regina doubled. Um, and it was, uh, it was crazy, like you would have to offer crazy prices just in order to have a chance. Um, so a lot of realtors developed sort of uh, uh, a little bit of a kind of a, a benchmark for what to do like a lot of a lot of people would say uh, if you're competing against five offers you go five grand per offer so you're offering 25 grand more than asking price some would say two to three percent per offer um, others would have a different set of criteria so it was kind of it would it would depend on um, on the neighborhood on the price of the house and of course how many people you were competing against um, so it's kind of it was always um, it was always a tough one. Uh, the one thing I always said, sort of uh, that's really really important, and now I'm telling my buyers all the time is um, make sure when you do put a price in, um, it's a price that you're comfortable with. That if you don't get it, you say, okay, well, whatever. We paid, we we gave them the best price we could. So uh, well, you know. Um, onto the next one but if you do get it you don't feel guilty like oh geez you know we really overpaid now now we're in trouble uh, we don't really even know if we can afford this house so that's really really important so you got to have that kind of balance of like well we didn't we're comfortable with the price but also uh, if you don't get it well you know whatever we can we can move on so that's really really important so to answer your question uh, it's a really, really, really tough. It really depends on the property, depends on how many people you're, you're competing against, uh, and, and depends on the neighborhood, the market, etc. What is really, really important, and I think the number one rule to think about in this, case, in this type of scenario is to get yourself a kick-ass realtor. Like, we will know, and your local real estate agent will know the market and will know what you need to do in order to have the best possible chance of getting that house. Because if you're just kind of if you're like throwing out offers, hoping that something will stick and, and you're not getting something, chances are you, you, you're, not, you're not getting the right advice. You need an awesome realtor, someone that knows this type of market and can really, really, really help you. So wherever you are, make sure you find somebody that's really, really good, that's a professional and ask them, hey, have you been in this situation before? How many times have you won? How many times have you lost and why? Uh, and what is your advice? Really, really important. Kick-ass realtor. That's my number one piece of advice for you. And then, of course, you know you, you should you should take their advice <laughs> and um, do what they say. Okay. Anyway, I hope that helps. Uh, any questions, uh, comment and ask me. You can uh, you can email me Martin at RegineExperts.ca and uh, please like and uh, share this video. Okay. Hope you're having a great day. Cheers.